There's no science fiction story or movie available right now or in the past that depicts astronauts floating around in a spaceship in zero gravity circumstances outside of Earth's atmosphere. The notion of artificial gravity in these spaceships is so ancient that it's now a fairly basic feature to the movies of this genre. Unfortunately, due to the nature of fiction, it does not accurately represent modern space travel. In reality, the notion of artificial gravity has not yet been effectively invented. Hence, all space travel involves the crew floating around their spacecraft once they've escaped the Earth's atmosphere and gravitational pull. While it may appear to be exciting to bounce around from one location to another in the spacecraft, there are several health repercussions, some of which are serious. The good news is that the successful creation of artificial gravity may just be around the corner, thanks to the efforts of the brilliant billionaire Elon Musk. So what is the strategy for achieving artificial gravity? What impact will it have on space travel as we know it? The answer to these questions will be covered in the video, so stay tuned. Gravity is something that affects every person and everything you interact with. It seems silly to even ask what it is, but the knowledge of what gravity is and its importance are essential. So here they are. Gravity is a fundamental force that attracts objects with a mass towards one another. The bigger the object, the more mass it has. The more mass it has, the more it will attract other objects towards its center. The huge planet Earth has more mass than can possibly be imagined, and therefore, a whole lot of gravity. The force of gravity does decrease with distance though, and so, the further one gets away from the large center of mass, the weaker the gravitational pull one feels. Once a NASA or SpaceX crew leaves the Earth's atmosphere, it will start to experience lessening amounts of gravitational pull from the Earth below. After a short distance into space, there will be no gravity at all, and the crew on board the NASA or SpaceX shuttle will just be floating around the ship from one place to another. The thought of drifting from point A to point B on a spaceship or in a space station does have a certain appeal to it. Admittedly, it's a pretty cool experience, but longer term exposure to zero gravity conditions can have a serious effect on the body. For one thing, bones and muscles will weaken significantly when they're not experiencing gravity due to them not having to work as hard as when gravity is pulling them down. The lack of use and even exercise of these bones and muscles make them weaker over time. Also, bodily fluids don't flow normally without gravity and can collect in parts of the body if one is not careful. This can result in pretty serious damages to the organs of the body, including even leading to a loss of hearing, among others. These kinds of effects put a damper on the excitement of the experience of drifting in zero gravity conditions. For one such as Elon Musk, whose plan is to settle humans permanently in Mars, which will subject his crew and customers to a longer time spent in transit on a starship, floating around in the ship, and making themselves vulnerable to these complications is not an option. The journey alone to Mars will take at least four months, more than enough time for the people on the ship to begin the feel of the impact of life without gravity. And the planet only has 40% of Earth's gravity. This is not good enough for crews and passengers to make a full recovery from the damages done to their bodies' systems during the journey. Many astronauts returning home from missions in space, which did not take them as far or as long as the mission to Mars would have, have a hard time adjusting to life and moving around like normal and their capabilities, training simulations, and experiences did nothing to abate these struggles. Even a seasoned pro like Scott Kelly struggled to walk on his feet when he first came back from his long missions to the stars. And so, it goes without saying that for humans to conquer space and become the multi-planetary species that the visionary wants us to be, something has to be done. How can Elon Musk and SpaceX avoid the problems that come with continuous exposure to zero gravity conditions when they're creating missions that might keep travelers away in space for months, if not years? A recent tweet regarding this by a concerned follower asked Elon the question, has SpaceX considered tethering two crew starships to create artificial gravity on the way to Mars and beyond? Musk's answer was a simple yes. How would this work then? More importantly, would it even work? Yes, this is a viable option for the Starship. It would follow the concept of the Von Braun wheel for a space station that would create artificial gravity by its spin. If you've ever been on a fair ride that spins around, for example, those spinning teacups, then you've had experience with this idea. The idea is termed centrifugal force. It's the force that pulls you to the outside edge of the ride as it spins and spins. Now imagine the same effect on a much larger spinning vessel, and you can even start to understand how this would create the effect of gravity for the journeying astronauts, even in deep cold reaches of space. While this is a viable option, it will prove quite difficult to construct and even harder to operate. It could be used for a space station, but with a spaceship, most unlikely. 
For instance, SpaceX's Starship is obviously not designed like a spinning sphere, and it can't be altered easily. Instead of this being a dead end for creating artificial gravity, that's where the concept of tethering comes in. If two starships were tethered together and spinning around the center of that tether, it could basically work just like the Von Braun wheel would. This would create sustained gravity for the astronauts on their long journey to Mars or basically anywhere. The tethering of two ships around their tails would create centrifugal force. And the best part is that SpaceX can customize the specifics to allow 40% gravity so that those on board can experience the exact amount of gravity that they would feel when they got to the destination planet. This way, the crew will get to the red planet already adjusted to the gravity levels that they would be walking into, and they will be able to start their missions immediately. The idea of tethering two ships is not exactly a novel idea. In fact, the concept has been sitting around since SpaceX first announced the Starship way back in 2016. Many people have seen this as the most probable, safe, and effective way to deliver artificial gravity as it seems like it follows the basic laws of physics. It also seems like the fastest way to get the results that Elon Musk and his SpaceX team need. But there have been no tests done on this method for artificial gravity. The last known experiment was done by NASA in 1960, but it was not very intentional and has not been worked on since then. This therefore means that no one, not even Musk, will know how well this is going to work in reality. This perhaps lends credence to why Musk's tweet concerning this idea was so short and lacking in substantial details. At the moment, the most viable option is really the only working option that SpaceX has right now. Beyond the lack of practical information regarding the possibility of success of this method, the cost variable involved in this option could also be the reason why Elon Musk seems to be hesitant to take this route. The creation of one starship costs an awful lot in time, effort, and resources and to imply that SpaceX would have to make two of these marvels for an even longer journey. The budget for that would definitely be not cheap, to say the least. But unless Musk's team comes up with a better, smarter method for creating artificial gravity in space that they desperately need, they'll have to find a way to foot these impending bills. As Elon Musk and SpaceX create vehicles and vessels that will potentially take men further than they've ever reached, they also need to contemplate how they will give these brave men and women that will go on the journey a solid footing that they need to get there and back safely. The concept of artificial gravity is something that astronauts have studied and long to have in the nearer rather than later future. And when it does come into reality, it will truly change the world of space travel as we know it. Leave a comment in the comment section on what you believe would be a significant impediment to translating this brainstorm of an idea into a real space operation involving real lives.